Multicolor 3D printing is really cool. Here's how you could slice and print in multiple colors. For example, let's say you want to 3D print this red and green chili pepper. While it may look simple, there's a couple tricks you need to know in order to have a smooth 3D printing experience. The most popular multicolor 3D printer is the Bamboo Lab P1S. And here you can see how easy it is to swap colors in their AMS or the automatic material system. In the first slot, I already have some red Sunlu PLA and here in the second slot, I'm adding in some Bamboo Lab green PLA. PLA. Because I'm using a Bamboo Lab 3D printer, I'll be using Bamboo Studio for the slicer. So all you have to do is simply drag the STL file onto the build plate and the object should appear. The next step is to manually sync the colors that we have in our printer with our slicer. We're printing in two colors and if you click on the color here, you could set the color and then click X and it should apply. And I'll set the other color here to green and make it a little bit darker and hit X to apply. And now we could use the color painting tool to color our object. Now, a lot of people when they're first coloring an object may just use one of these tools like the circle or the sphere. So if we use the sphere, we can manually paint the color like this. However, it's very difficult to get it perfect and accurate. So a pro tip is you could use the fill tool and this will automatically detect where a crease is on the object and fill the color for that entire part. And by adjusting this slider, you could adjust the sensitivity between different parts, AKA how sharp the crease is. So now we have our perfectly colored object and you can even see the print purge tower over here. Now it may look like it's ready to print. However, if we go and slice it and we kind of preview the object, you'll notice that there are some very, very steep overhangs and it will more than likely fail. The most immediate solution would be to add supports. So if we go over to prepare and go to support and click on this checkbox, we can add supports and go ahead and click slice. Now all of the very steep overhangs are supported. In Bamboo Studio, there are two main different types of supports. These are the default supports, but you can also go ahead and switch it to tree supports, which are usually easier to separate from your object. So while this solution will technically work, there are a few other alternatives that are very important to note. Let's go ahead and clone this object and take a look at the alternatives. To reduce the amount of surface area of supports touching the object, we could simply rotate our object onto its end like this. This will also improve the quality of the surface of the object because we won't have as many stair-stepping layer lines. Now let's go ahead and look at some alternatives that don't require using supports at all. So let's go ahead and clone our object. And this time we could use the cutting tool up here and we could cut the object in half. Then we could snap this face here. So let's select on this one object. I'll have to deselect both and select one object and select this tool and it will snap that surface to the build plate. And you can see because we split the object, we lost our color painting. So we could just go back into the color painting tool and I need to make sure everything gets painted and I'll just select these areas as well. And then we could do the exact same thing to the other side. So now we have two halves of a chili pepper that we could simply super glue together and it doesn't require using any support material. However, in this orientation, you will get some pretty significant layer line stair stepping. Now let's go ahead and clone the object once again and see the final way that we can print this object. So instead of cutting it lengthwise, let's rotate this plane 90 degrees and cut it in half this direction. Now, once again, we'll have to align the flat surfaces to the build plate using this tool. And we'll also have to color the stem once again. So here we have the four different ways that we could slice this multi-color print. Now you always should slice and preview what is printing before printing it to make sure everything looks good. And here I see some supports that I don't need. So I'm going to add a support blocker on the stem of this uh, chili pepper. So now that everything looks good, let's go ahead and send this job to the printer. For red, we'll select AMS slot one and for green, we'll select AMS slot two. So here we have the results of our four different tests. And for this print, I used a PEI build plate and all of the pieces release effortlessly. So let's go ahead and compare the different pieces. So here are the piece that we angled up on its side with minimal supports. And as you can see, the supports remove pretty much effortlessly. And on the bottom, you can see there's a little bit of artifacts as well. Here we have the first chili that we sliced horizontal with supports along the entire piece. And it did come out all right. However, you can see there's some layer line stepping and quite a few artifacts from the supports. For the last two options, we split the object in half to avoid using supports. 
Of course, we're going to have to glue these pieces together. The red chili pepper that was split horizontally does have some layer line stepping. However, the crease is kind of hidden lengthwise. And finally, for the fourth option, we cut the chili right in half and place the two halves right next to each other. And this got rid of the issue with the layer line stair stepping. However, you can tell that two pieces were glued together. Overall, there are pros and cons to each of these methods. However, I hope this introduces you to different ways that you could slice your multicolor prints to get the best results. Best of luck on all your projects and endeavors. My name is Steven from 3D Printer Academy and happy printing.